Welcome again, um, Blake and Moulton. This is again a leadership principle. They call it the managerial grid. Again, very, very uh, relevant uh, theory or principle for the modern times. We look at uh, different kind of leadership skills at different situations. Somewhat connected to situational theory as well. Let's take a look. Okay. So there are two things, task oriented and relationship oriented. So it depends on, uh, you know, what the concern of the manager is. If you are for the production, yeah. Or, or, or the performance, it will be a task oriented system. The options are there. And yes, if you are for the people, relationship oriented, it can be. Let's take a look. And this is how it looks. Yeah. Two axes, one for the concern for people, the other one concern for the result, low to high. Each one has uh, one to nine measurements on either end. And look at four corners, team management, country club management, middle of the road management, impoverished management, and yes, uh, producer perish management. Take one after the other. Yeah. This one. Um, you know, the concern for production. That means you are driven by the production. Depending on managers score on each of the two axes, we can assign yeah, different types of managers. So what is the manager score? So this score manager can put for himself. Perhaps a company can assess the manager's uh, attitude and the performance or the manager's way as well and company can determine to which category the manager would be belong. The interview panel may do that as to what kind of a leader that they are hiring when they hire a leader for it. So it could be a country club management if it's one to nine that means a low one on concern for production but high concern for people. Country club like right? authority compliance management maybe yeah very high concern for production but uh, not much of a bother for people so two vast ends you could be middle of the road 50 50 five five so taking the first one yeah concern for production where is it concern for production is uh, here and the concern for people is very much less Production to the maximum and um, yeah, people matter less means that the manager directly, directly kind of controls towards the goals. Yeah, he likes to give instructions and orders, very explicit, and we have to get the job done. So that is concern for production. Where can we see them in the grid here? This is the concern production, it should be the maximum concern production here. Whereas um, concern for people could be very much less low here. Let's take the next one. Concern for people oriented, so the people matter maximum. So people grid, maximum, production may be less. So here, you know, uh, they respect the ideas of the people and let the people make the decisions, teamwork and all that. Where do we see these kind of managers? Maybe high-end production in industry setting, yeah, you may have this, concern production. Mass scale production, back in the days of, uh, early days of industrial era, you would have had it, had it. even today, right? The sweatshop-like leadership. Sometimes you may see them in South Asia. And where would you see this kind of a leadership? concern for people, especially in the service industry, where the quality of the service matters massively and the quality of the service and the service giver is seen by the people who obtain the service a lot. Uh, concern for the people is something that you need to focus on. Example, uh, industries like perhaps uh, tourism, hoteling industry, education industry, you might see this part a bit. 
Next one, impoverished management. What is it? You have no concern for the production and you're not that much bothered about people as well. We call it indifferent management. So you just take minimum effort, almost laissez-faire, like you just take it easy. Uh, so uh, you, you refuse to be responsible. Where would you see this kind of thing? Perhaps in the public sector, this may be possible to see, impoverished management here. Less concern for production and less concern for the people also. So you are definitely an unfit person for leadership in the modern sense. It's not rare to see this, you know, the, the, the leadership fails, so the leadership doesn't take up responsibilities. And if the leader kind of takes an action where he avoids the responsibility, it could be here. Then country club management, one to nine. So uh, what's that? Low on concern for production and high on concern for people. So you put maximum concern for people, but very much less for uh, production. Yeah, you uh, take good care of the people, and you firmly believe that uh, you know being caring to the needs of the people is the prime duty of yours. And uh, yeah, you are more into the welfare of the people than the work outputs, than the work outputs. Easy going, you're not very productive, but uh, your, your, your focus is to the well-being of the people, primarily. Where would you say that kind of leadership style? Completely for the people, country club. Um, maybe in a uh, perhaps you might see this kind of a leadership in you know uh, a charity club perhaps perhaps in a in a place like a welfare association in a company rather difficult to say this an elderly organization where the people matter more than what those people do within the organization. This one, authority compliance, it comes here. Produce or perish, do it or otherwise. That kind of thing. Again, where would you see it? You might see this kind of leadership just in extremely high pressure production where you have to come up with the tasks and you have to achieve those targets by the day, before the day is over, make or break, high commitment production, yes, you would have this. Next one, yeah, middle of the road. Medium concern for production as well as concern for the people. So um, again, I think where would you need it? Where would you be? Less pressure uh, production or service oriented organizations where there's competition and there's not too much uh, competitiveness. The company is on a very steady position, very steady uh, platform where the business is solid and strong and you worry a lot about keeping your people rather than letting them go. So organizations where the people value are higher perhaps in tourism in hotel management because hotel is nothing but the people that the hotel has uh, as a human resource you lose that you lose everything and hotels are not exactly thoroughly task oriented the tourists so the guests are they are to you know have a rest or be themselves so they're not exactly uh, you know working as if they're in the military so they would be just wanting to relax and rest and all. They didn't want the staff to run all around the place constantly. The manager in a hotel would be middle of the road. Getting the work done but not putting too much pressure on their people. Always think about the example of exactly where you would be seeing this kind of uh, leadership. Concert production in engineering. Production you may have it. Uh, Concern for people, nine and nine, team management. 
so there you get the maximum but you don't ignore the people especially in the construction industry this is the ideal this is the best and the black and mountain says that this is the ideal thing for leadership hard one to get uh, one that would perfectly so this would be the engineering and construction industry where the work quality should be optimum because any construction in engineering is designed for minimum 20 years generally for 50 years and the quality of the work uh, is essential so the quality of the work depends on the quality of the people who are doing it and that kind of quality can it can be possible when the organization treat them with quality you cannot do a construction uh, with the people with lesser quality so and they are of a extremely higher degree of expertise right throughout the line so that team management would be a thing how about a research institution research organization sports organization where yeah, consent for production to be maximum and the consent for the people also should be equally maximum extremely hard place to be but some industries cry for this yeah paternalism maternalism management what is it you, you visit the shift between 1 to 9 and 9 to 1 at one point you could be country club the other way you could be authority compliance a school principal for that matter you'll be the nicest of the nicest uh, people at one point country club Letting your guard down and let the students be themselves and 9 to 1, sometimes standing on your feet, stamping on your feet also, right? So that is paternalism, maternalism management. What about this? Opportunistic management, exploit and manipulate. You don't have any fixed location in the grid. You basically do whatever you want in different, different, different styles at different places. Where would you see that? Uh, perhaps in the high-end uh, supply industry? extremely challenging distribution industry where the deadlines and the commitments you know and to be on time and quick fast negotiation negotiations are required if you look at uh, a local example let's say wholesale industry yeah this kind of thing might be one that may work exploit and manipulate yeah anyhow uh, black and mountain is about critical thinking so organization that may be thinking about the skill of the manager when they hire or when they notice them they notice him in his pro pro preparation the company may be making an assessment internal audit right they may be making an assessment of the manager in this way or the manager himself can make an assessment about himself and make up his mind okay to which category to which level would I be belonging a company with a larger number of managers may think about Blake and Mountain a little bit to identify who fits for what situation. Is it concern for production or concern for people or middle of the road or what? So the critical thinking may come from different angles. Yeah, this is the idea, the best. Of course, we discuss exactly where would we be seeing them, right? We may be seeing them in the construction industry a lot because the final quality of the product is a must. And the taking good care of the people who provide that quality is also a must. And the sports industry and so many other industries also. Advantages, take a look. Yeah. It helps the managers to analyze their leadership style through the grade. You mean the company can analyze the leadership styles of different, different, different people, especially when a company hires a bunch of young guys as executives. What kind of quality these people are having? What sort of categories these people will be belonging to? It could be a nice workshop uh, material for a workshop organizer or conductor of the workshop to identify the skills of each and every participant by giving them different, different, different tasks. Yeah. Through a questionnaire, by observing the people. Yeah, they'll be able to identify their human resource, the leadership uh, pool they have. What kind of leaders are they? Right? Are they impoverished management? That means not much of bother on, you know, very easy going. A country club, very much caring towards the people, but not much on the result. But middle of the road, 
50-50. Oh, very dictatorial. Producer Parish. Oh, you know, optimum on both ends. Taking care of the people to the maximum and very high uh, concern for the results also. Oh, you're all around the place. Whenever you feel like moving up, are you that? So, so it's different kind of leadership styles. So it gives the people the for the organization even the, the managers themselves the ability to identify that what will be the disadvantages it just uh, is one thing that is very complex in analyzing and another one would be it will be very subjective also if you get a branding as this kind of a person by someone and it may stay there and even even if you are not that uh, type so uh, and the other one is uh, it doesn't cover all kind of leadership styles isn't it if you look at the situation leadership it doesn't cover all kind of leadership it covers certain specific kind of leaderships but not every kind of leadership that we may be seeing so Blake and Mountain is a very popular kind of a leadership strategy uh, you know in, in extremely uh, fast moving uh, industries or the fast moving economy like today for a quick assessment of for people to be made for the lead for the quick assessment of the leaders to be made is a very good one to choose from